In this how-to video, we are going to show you how you can reset your hybrid and battery system, so to restart it AC and DC wise. Please note that especially for this process, there is a specific process to restart the AC and the DC side. Please note that always when you restart the system, please keep to this process that you make sure that there is no problem during the restarting process. First of all, we start with the battery system. When you switch on the battery system, you go to the right side of the battery system and there you will find the DC switch on the right side of the system and we activate the battery by just switching the switch to on position. After that, the battery system starts up and second up, we want to restart and start the inverter. For the inverter side, it is always important to first switch on the AC side of the inverter. And after that, inverter drives up and the last thing that you want to do is to activate the DC switch. So please always make sure, especially when you have a battery system in the system, to activate the DC switch at last. So first off, activate battery system, then AC side of the inverter and last things last, DC switch on the inverter. Then the inverter will start up and this takes some time until the LEDs on the front side stop flashing and then the inverter is started correctly again. To switch off the battery system, you push in the button on the top side of the BMU and after some seconds, the DC switch on the battery falls down, deactivating the battery system. After you have switched off the battery system, next up we want to switch off the inverter side. And therefore we start with the AC side of the Fronius inverter. And after switching off the AC side, we want to use the DC switch on the inverter to turn off the inverter completely. Please note that you wait for at least one minute to make sure that the inverter is powered off and then you can restart the system again. 